Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. x squared minus 1 equal to x minus 1 squared. Now let's continue in this way. This is the same thing as x squared minus 1 squared, which will be equal to x minus 1 in two places x minus 1. Now we can apply difference of two squares here, right? We'll still have something like this because if a squared minus b squared is given, it will be the same thing as a plus b into a minus b. So that's from here alone, I will have x plus 1, then I will also have x minus 1 just from here alone. So this will now be equal to x minus 1 into x minus 1. Now what if I bring everything to the same side? That means I will have x plus 1 into x minus 1 then minus x minus 1 into x minus 1 this is equal to 0. Now what I did over there is to bring everything to the left hand side. Now we factor out x minus 1 because it is common to these two. So x minus 1 comes out as a common factor. Then what I have here is x plus 1, right? Then minus, this is this negative. Then I have one of this, which will be x minus 1, 2. Then close this, everything equals 0. Then x minus 1 is still out as a common factor. Then in here, I can open the bracket. So we have x plus 1. Then negative times x will get negative x. And then negative times negative 1 will give us positive 1. Then this is equal to 0. From here, x minus 1 comes down. Then this can now cancel this. And then we have 1 plus 1, which will give 2, right? And that will be equal to 0. Now this is very simple because from here, we can decide to apply our zero product rule because when you multiply two things to get zero then one of them must be equal to zero so this means that we can conclude that this two here is equal to zero or we cancel this two completely now one of the ways we can do that is to divide this by two and divide this by two this cancels this right okay so this means that x minus one will still be equal to zero okay so we continue with this and then what do we do so x now will be equal to zero plus one meaning that our x is equal to one now to check okay to check Okay, so let me write the original equation again. Okay, this is the original equation and we are having x to be equal to 1. Now, 1 squared is what we have here. 1 squared minus 1. Do you think it will be equal to 1 minus 1 squared? Yes, it will be equal because 1 squared will still give 1 minus 1 and then from here we are having 0 squared right now 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 squared is 0 times 0 which will give 0 okay so this is to confirm that x is equal to 1 thank you for watching